This episode is sponsored by Skyloom. Use the coupon code CJamesPhoto to get $10 off of your purchase. The link is in the description. So this is my second day here in Bramange. I'm just gonna be taking a short trip today. It is so sunny. There's only a few little clouds in the distance. Um, but days like this, it gets really hard to be able to take good enough photos because everything just looks flat. The sun is quite high at the moment. So I'm in search of something that's just gonna work out for a kind of a, a day like this. And I think I know what I'm gonna be able to take today. There is water just running down from this mountain. So I'm gonna be taking photos of a waterfall at the end of this. At least that's what I'm hoping. And because the sunlight's here and the waterfall's on that side of the mountain, the waterfall is going to be in shade, which is going to work out perfectly because it means I can take slower shutter speeds and basically get the shot the way I want it. But uh, it's a little bit of a walk down. Hopefully this will work out and I'll find a good, good enough composition. Even though it is completely clear today and really sunny, it is still absolutely beautiful up here. It's such a, such an amazing place. And I just love being surrounded by mountains like this. It's just, it's magnificent. It's so cool. But anyway, let me just keep going. If I do spot something along the way, I will try and uh, take a photo of it. But uh, I think today is just gonna be about a waterfall, which sometimes that's good enough. And sometimes one shot uh, can be quite a great shot. So. Let's just see how this goes. So I've just come out onto the other side of where the mountain is now, but uh, it's quite a drop to go down. So I need to wake, make my way down the side of the mountain here and then there's a river at the bottom which will lead to the waterfall. It's a little bit difficult to get to where the top of the waterfall is, plus um, the composition won't work that well. It's going to be better getting it from the bottom and shooting up at it. So I just need to keep breaking my way down, but it's a little bit windy at the moment as well, which is making it a little extra difficult. And this is really steep. just made it to pretty much the bottom of where the waterfall starts. There's so much contrast and light and detail. The waterfall is not really rough, but uh, I just love the way the water is just cascading down the edge of the mountain there. And then you're getting some nice light just shining on the side of the mountain in certain spots. And it just looks really, really good. The only problem I have is that uh, with it being windy right now, it's causing a lot of splashback, so I'm getting uh, water on the front of the lens. So I'm just having to wipe it off every now and then. Uh, but what I'm trying to aim for here is I've got this little bit of waterfall here that's just right in front of me. And I want that in my foreground because it just leads you up to the main part of the waterfall above. And it just goes so nicely with the rest of the landscape. It's a really cool image. It looks really nice. And I definitely want to capture the motion in this, so I'm definitely going to be shooting quite slow. I'm aiming for one eighth of a second, which will actually take quite a nice shot. I don't really need to go any slower because there's not enough water to do that. Um, because the water is quite thin, if I go any slower, it's not really going to be that visible. So I'm trying to keep your eye on where the water is. And uh, I'm going to shoot this at around F13, which will give really good depth all the way through but because of the distance between the front of this first waterfall and the one in the back i'm going to have to uh, focus stack this just to get it right so i'll focus on the foreground first then the mid ground and then obviously the background where the waterfall starts but uh 
I think this could be pretty cool. So let me just get the photos done and uh, we'll see what it's like once I put it together. So I just moved a little bit further here and there's this one tree that's kind of standing in front of the waterfall that just really caught my eye. It's got the sun just shining on it so it's glowing a little bit and then you've got the waterfall in the background but it's really dark. Um, but I just like the way it lines up and goes in front of the waterfall. It looks really nice. So I'm going to go for a portrait orientation for this and um, I'm going to shoot it around f14 but the only thing is I'm going to have to shoot two different exposures because the foreground is really bright. So I'm going to have to go at around uh, 1 50th of a second for the foreground and then 1 8th of a second for the background. Which actually will work out quite nicely because obviously the waterfall is in the dark part so having a slower shutter speed will just help with uh, getting that motion. So I think it could turn out to be quite a nice image. And let me just take the shot and we'll have a look. But uh, I think this will be it for today. Yeah, but let me just take this and uh, we'll see how this one turns out. Okay, so that's it for today's video. It's getting really, really windy here, but I think I got two good shots. At least I hope so. But uh, what a stunning day. Really nice. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.